be the light, be the change, and do unto others as you have them do unto you. Let me tell you a little story about how these almond rock cakes came to be. We had fallen on very difficult times and there was little or no money. We needed snack, something to complement the small dinner. The cupboards were bare and so was the refrigerator shelves. So I decided to look through to find something that I could put together. I remember back in Jamaica, we enjoyed rock buns and I searched through the cupboards and the fridge. There I found a good amount of almonds because we seldom used almonds. So I said there was no coconut to make the rock buns, nor were there raisins. I'm not sure if I remember if we, if we had eggs, but I know we had butter and spices and milk. So I decided to ground up the almonds to very, very fine, almost like powder. And I substituted the coconut, the almonds for the coconuts. I don't remember if I'd used eggs or not, but then I used evaporated milk. I think we had evaporated milk. And I added the spices and the butter and put this thing together. I didn't give it a name until I decided to do this video and my family absolutely loves it. I hope you enjoy the recipe. Take care. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell, share the video, give me a comment and like. Let's get started. Sieve that flour into a big enough bowl, I might add. I needed a bigger bowl. Don't ask me why I decided to choose this one, but I did. And in that flour, you're going to add your dry ingredients and stir it very well. Because remember, these are all the spices and you have to get it well incorporated into the flour. Then add your brown sugar and stir very well. Now add your butter and it must be room temperature butter, including the milk. It must be room temperature. And make sure that you use your fingers and mash that butter into the flour. Make sure that it is evenly incorporated. Please remember that you are trying to get a crumbly, texture so you're going to use your fingers and work that butter into the flour and you're looking for a crumbly texture this is what it it is now it's all crumbled into the flour that's the way it should look Now you add your almond paste, powder, grounded almonds, whatever you want to call it, and work it into the flour, just like the butter. 
there should be no lumps everything must be as fine as powder still going for that crumbly consistency then you're gonna add some vanilla and this is the way I added the vanilla um, because of the container I had it in so I poured vanilla into a container and then I poured the milk inside of the container with the vanilla extract now you can use cow's milk evaporated milk or coconut milk but I find that the best results um, comes with using the evaporated milk it gives it a nice creamy taste I don't know how to explain it to you but if you try it you'll see what I mean so you can use condensed I mean not condensed milk sorry you can use cow's milk or coconut milk but I think the best result comes with evaporated milk and you're gonna add that milk little by little and turn and turn until you get to this sticky type um, consistency that's what you're looking for it's not gonna be too firm or too doughy like what you want it to be is sticky like just like that like you can actually use your fingers and pull it apart it's supposed to be a little bit stretchy as well then you're gonna get your cookie sheet and put your what's that paper called grease paper in now after you put the grease paper you are going to go ahead and preheat that oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and then this is a little bit of a difficult um, process but you're gonna use a spatula well I use a spatula and a spoon you could use a fork and a spoon or two spoons or you could just use your hands and take it up and put it in your cookie sheet on your cookie sheet but make sure though guys that the size you pay attention to the size it must be similar in size because you don't want some to bake and leave the others unbaked so it's gonna give you um, a difficult time where you're gonna have to probably over bake some you know and some will be under baked but so what you want to make sure is that you make sure that they are the same each piece of dough is the same size And I'm just demonstrating here again so it's gonna be a little bit easier for you if you see how I do it and then I'm gonna repeat the process until it's all done but I just showed you a few of them so you get the idea of how you um, place them on the cookie sheet um, 20 minutes later I'm going to turn it so that it will brown evenly. And 10 minutes later, the rock buns are all ready.